Hi everybody, it seems DJ I have launched a new version of their Fly app. This is version 1.4.12. Now hopefully this is going to fix the disastrous results that many of you Android users had with the version 1.4.8 build 1120. Many of you was reporting app crashing and black screens and just a whole host of problems. Now, they haven't actually updated this Fly app since the 3rd of July. So it's been quite some months now for you guys to have quite a few problems. I know many of you have actually resorted back to installing older versions. I did post a video on this exact subject and I've basically hosted all of the uh, pre previous versions. So that did help quite a few of you being able to roll back to a previous version. Not to mention in August, I actually got hold of a beta version. This was 1.4.8 build 1185. And that seemed to cure many people's problems with this app. But for this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how to download it from the DJI site, because as usual, DJI are not on the ball really with their uh, labeling on the website. So all you need to do is very simply open up your web browser on your mobile. We then need to go to DJI downloads, quite simple. Just copy and paste the web address. Once we load that up, you can see that we have actually got 1.4.8 still showing. Um, however, that is actually the wrong version. And if you go ahead and click the download Android APK, you can quite easily see this is version 1.4.12. So we need to go ahead and download that. And then we'll skip to the end. Now that's downloaded, we'll click open. And yes, we want to install it. We'll let it do its thing. And now that is installed. So let's click on the profile then and just scroll across and scroll down. And let's just have a look and you can see that it's successfully installed. Now for all of you, what I'm also going to do is I will, again, just as I have previous versions, I will host this file myself. So if you want to access it from the Google Drive account that I've got set up, you can do so by clicking the link in the video description. Now, after all the problems with the Jedi Fly 1.4.8, it's entirely up to you guys. You might want to just possibly hold off a little second. Let me test it on the channel. I will try and get that video out later on this evening and I'll just see if there's any new features because it seems that I'm recording this video before DJI have even put out the release notes to see if anything's new. Of course, this is applicable to all you users if you have the DJI Mini SE, the Mavic Mini, the Mini 2, the Mavic Air 2, the Air 2 S, or the FPV. So it does actually control quite a number of drones, but hopefully, you know, hopefully this will solve a lot of the problems you guys have had. And many of you was a little bit um, cautious and sceptical about installing the beta version of the app, purely because it wasn't a, a released version from the DJI site, but of course this one is. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up so more people will see that this new version is available. I will bring that testing video a little bit later on. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.